I'd like to talk about data, information and knowledge and what's distinctive about each of those. They are easily confused, but they're different. Data, information, knowledge are different and data management, information management, knowledge management are different, despite the fact that there is a lot of confusion between these three disciplines. When I'm teaching knowledge management training courses, early on in the course I like to talk about data information, knowledge, the difference between the three, and I illustrate this with a story. I say, imagine it's 8 o'clock in the morning, on a Monday morning, you're walking through a factory. The factory's in production, you walk past a pipe, and on the pipe there's a pressure gauge. And the pressure gauge tells you that the pressure reading in that pipe is 12,000 psi. That's a piece of data. Monday morning, 8 o'clock, that particular pipe, that particular pressure. You carry on walking and you get to the control room. And in the control room is a computer screen, and on that screen there's a graph of pressure. And you can see, in fact, the pressure in that pipe is rising very rapidly. Now that is information provided to you as a time series of data. Data presented in a way that makes sense. It tells you something, that pressure is rising. And I say to my class, what is the knowledge you need right now? Presented with that information, what do you need to know? And very often they will say, or you need to know, uh, what's the normal pressure? Is this a usual situation? What will happen if the pressure continues to rise? Is it dangerous? And I say, yes, these are all things that it's valuable to know, but why do you need to know them? And eventually they come to the point that the knowledge you need, the key knowledge you need, is what should I do? How should I respond? How should I react to this particular set of circumstances? Should I open a valve? Which valve should I open? Or should I close a valve? Should I press the fire alarm and evacuate the factory because we're about to explode? Or should I go and tell the managing director that at last we're on production and he can celebrate? If you know how to react, then you can make the correct decision. If you don't have that knowledge, then you, you're, you're powerless. You are unable to take a decision. So for me, that's the difference between the data, the information, and the knowledge. The knowledge is the piece that allows you to make a decision. Then I say to my class, where would you get that knowledge from, that knowledge of how to react to increasing pressure? And they say, well, through your experience. Yes, but you don't want to experience a factory explosion to know what to do when pressure increases. There are other ways to get knowledge. So we then continue to brainstorm through training, through manuals, through procedures. Um, and if you don't have the training, you don't have the manuals and procedures, you get the knowledge from other people. You turn to somebody else in the control room, say, have you seen this pressure? What should we do? So knowledge can come from others. It can come from your experience. It can come from the experience of others um, encapsulated into training courses, into manuals, into procedures. The key point that I want to make is that knowledge is the factor that allows you to take effective action. It allows you to make the right decision and to do the right thing. So what knowledge management is about is creating a system, a managed system, that routinely and systematically ensures people have the knowledge they need in any circumstance to make the correct decision. Now this is a lot more than just providing them with information or data. It's providing them with capability, with know-how. So that's the difference in terms of knowledge and that's the difference in terms of knowledge management.